In a land far, far away, there was a princess with long red hair. This princess had a beautiful flower garden. The red roses, especially, were giving great happiness to the princess. In the evening, when the people in the country went to bed to fall asleep, the rose princess would go out to the balcony of the palace and clap her hands three times. Hearing this sound, a tiny golden bird flew into the rose princess's hand. And at that moment, the princess's hair began to shine brightly. The cute bird began to sing beautifully. And the princess was singing a lullaby with her velvet voice. Everyone who heard this beautiful lullaby of the princess would slowly close their eyes and fall asleep immediately. It's time to say good night. Sweet dreams and good night, beautiful people of my country. While the nights were passing in peace and joy thanks to the rose princess, one day, a witch with a pointed hat and scowling came to the palace of the rose princess with a flying broom. La -da 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 -da. I can't stand this princess singing anymore! I'm fed up! The frowning witch decided to cast an evil spell on the princess. Alakazam! Palakazam! Let the roses wither! Let the rose princess be silent! At that moment, the princess's hair turned into black as coal black. <gasps> What's going on with my hair? They're all black! And it's now bedtime! Ugh. The princess with her black hair went out to the balcony to sing a lullaby to her people. She clapped her hands three times. The golden little bird flew again and landed in her hand. Rose Princess's black hair was shining again. Although the princess wondered what happened to her red hair, she started to sing her lullaby with the bird. Close your eyes tonight. Everyone in the country fell into a deep sleep. But instead of good dreams, they had terrible nightmares. There were even children who woke up crying. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> I had a very scary dream. I don't want to sleep at night anymore. My dreams are so scary. So are mine. In the evening of the next day, the Rose Princess, who learned that her people were having nightmares, went back to her balcony and called her golden little bird. My little bird, my people are tired of having nightmares. Help me to heal their dreams before morning. Let the roses make your hair smile. Do -e -do 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 -do. Let the roses make your hair smile. Do -e -do 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 -do. Roses make my hair smile? Hmm. With the bird's advice, the princess filled a large tub with water. She also put a handful of red rose petals in it. The water has turned red. The princess dipped her hair in this water. The hair turned red at that very moment. <laughs> Roses made my hair smile. The little bird was telling the truth. Hooray! <laughs> that night, when the princess sang a lullaby, Close your eyes everyone in the country slept peacefully and had beautiful dreams. 
Realizing that the spell she had cast on the Rose Princess was broken, the frowning witch got angry and cursed her once again. Alakazam! Palakazam! Let the roses wither! Let the Rose Princess be silent! Then, she withered all the rosebuds in the country and fled. <laughs> Rose Princess was very upset when she saw that her hair was coal black again. Oh, no way, again? Oh, what is happening to me? <laughs> The princess asked her assistants to bring rose petals immediately to fix her hair. However, the assistants could not find even a single rose in the garden or the country. What am I going to do now, little bird? Tell me, huh? Let the roses make your hair smile. Do -de 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 -de. But there is not even a single rose in the whole country. Wait, don't go! <laughs> Rose Princess was so upset that she started to cry loudly. The tears flowing from her eyes have fallen to the ground. At that time, there was a young and handsome man passing through the palace garden. When this young man saw the tears falling to the ground, he took out a box from his pocket, and inside there was a thin red strand of hair. left the strand of red hair on the tears on the ground. A strand of red hair turned into a sparkling red rose in an instant. The handsome man took the rose and went to the princess. The princess, who was sadly standing by the bathtub full of water, was very excited when she saw the handsome man entering. <gasps> you! I remember you! Yes, I am, your childhood friend. This flower is for you. Please accept it, my rose princess. The princess was so happy when she saw the red rose her childhood friend brought her. Immediately after, she threw the rose into the tub. She then dipped her hair in water. And finally, the witch's curse was broken. That coal black hair has turned red again. Seeing the happiness of his daughter, the king is very curious. Young man, please tell me, how did you find this rose when there was not a single rose left in the whole country? This rose was formed with the sad tears of our princess and a strand of her red hair that I kept since childhood. My dear king, my loyalty is endless. That's right, Daddy. Look, I've been keeping a strand of his hair in this box for years, too. The king was impressed by the loyalty of both the princess and the young man. Thus, the rose princess and her childhood friend, the handsome man, got married the very next day. Realizing that her curse was broken by the power of love, the witch realized that she could never win again and flew to the lands far, far away. Adi se baba.